Okay, so the bow does not have to be held at 45 degrees. A bow can be held at 180 degrees, or in other words, fairly vertical. shoot a bow and hold it more or less vertically. It's really a good idea to put your heels together. Only have your feet separated by a few inches. Not a great big stance. The right arm must be completely relaxed. It's a good idea to allow the arm and shoulder to relax four times perhaps. So the bow can be held vertically. Also when holding the bow vertically, don't hold it. Don't even hold it a little bit. Don't even wrap one finger around it. Allow that bow to follow the string. It sets its own cant. You do not cant the bow. Keep those heels together. Stand up straight. Stand erect. <sighs> Nothing but flies. Okay, so when we start to hold the bow vertically, and once again, don't get nervous, I put my heels together so that I'm more or less standing to attention. Also, I do not bend my knees but by having my feet together, I can pivot, just like a little pin. Also, I stand erect. I'm not canting, I'm not leaning over, I'm not looking for you. Okay? So that's another thing. Also, the tip of the arrow the tip of the arrow goes right on the target, but you can see that the, arrow, the bow is off to the right, or your left, but my right, but you see the tip is on? Okay, feet together, stand up straight, put the tip on. Now, all this I have to do is not hold the bow, because if I don't hold the bow, watch what happens as it comes back. You see that? Did you see how that bow just kind of swung, but the arrow is pointing straight towards the camera. Are you in there? Okay. Feet together. Stand up straight. Bow is vertical. Tip is on. Not, not holding it. As it comes back, you see how it straightens out by itself? Let the bow straighten out. 
don't hold it. So we're not deliberately canting. We are not doing that. We are not setting it at 45. We are allowing the point to be on and stay on and as we draw it will find its own spot. Okay? That's a big deal. Now, I come back until my finger, in this case, is just in front or about the corner of my mouth. I do not really touch it because the finger will follow the corner of your mouth. You've got to keep it straight to your eye. But it's right around there, okay? And this arm, I relax four times. I relax it, I relax it, I relax it. And when I feel the joint fall into line with the rest of the, the arrow and the bow, I'm about there. That's about it, eh? So that's how I shoot when I'm sta when I'm holding the bow vertical. Let's do it a quick. Stand to attention, feet together, stand erect. Put the tip on, the bow's there. Allow it to cant itself, drop back. Get it right back, let it relax, let it relax, let it relax, and just let go. Anyhow, that's what happens. Uh, I think I've explained it enough times now, and when you do that, you get to shoot the bobcat. So I can see that I popped one a little bit high there, and the others are in the kill zone. But you know, I got an excuse. I was talking a lot to you. Anyhow, you guys have fun. Go out there and practice and do the things I say. It'll help you out. Take care. Bye now.